Hugo Boss is a luxury fashion house headquartered in Metzingen, Germany. The company sells clothing, accessories and fragrances. Hugo Boss is one of the largest German clothing companies with a global sales of 3 billion euros in 2019. Hugo Ferdinand Boss was a German fashion designer and businessman. He founded his own clothing company in Metzingen in 1923 and then opened a factory in 1924, initially with two partners. The company produced shirts and jackets and raincoats. Due to the economic climate of Germany at the time, Boss was forced into bankruptcy. In 1931, he reached an agreement with his creditors, leaving him with six sewing machines to start again. In 1931, Hugo Boss became a member of the Nazi party and a sponsoring member of the SS. He also joined the German Labour Front in 1936. After joining these organizations, his sales increased from 38,000 Reichsmark, approximately 26,000 US dollars in 1932, to over 3 million Reichsmark in 1941. Though he claimed in a 1935 advertisement that he had been a supplier for National Socialist uniforms since 1924, it is probable that he did not begin to supply them until 1928 at the earliest. This is the year he became a licensed supplier of uniforms to the Schutzstaffel, Hitler Youth, National Socialist Motor Corps and other party organizations. 1932 was also an important year for the company. By the third quarter, the all-black SS uniform was designed by SS members Karl Dibich and Walter Heck. None of them were Hugo Boss employees, so the SS uniform was not designed by Hugo Boss. Karl Dibich was an artist and an SS officer responsible for designing much of the SS regalia during the Nazi era including the chained SS officer's dagger. Dibich later served as the director of the Porcelain Manufaktur Allach in 1936 until the enterprise had its porcelain production facility moved to another city. Besides being an artist, Dibich was also a reserve officer of the Waffen SS during the World War II. His colleague Walter Heck was a German graphic designer who created the SS double rune symbol for the Schutzstaffel in 1929 and co-designed the black uniform of the SNSS. He was paid only 2.5 Reichsmark, about $2 for his work. But it is true that the Hugo Boss company was the one of the companies that produced these black uniforms for the SS. By 1938, the firm was focused on producing German army uniforms and later also uniforms for the Waffen SS. During the Second World War, Hugo Boss employed 140 forced laborers, the majority of them women. In addition to these workers, 40 French prisoners of war also worked for the company briefly between October of 1940 and April of 1941. According to some German historians, the company managers were fervent National Socialists who were all great admirers of Adolf Hitler. In 1945, Hugo Boss had a photograph in his apartment of him with Hitler taken at the Berghof, Hitler's Obersalzberg retreat. Because of his early party membership, his financial support of the SS, 
and the uniforms delivered to the National Socialist German Workers' Party, Boss was considered both an activist and a supporter of National Socialism. In a 1946 judgment, he was stripped of his voting rights, his capacity to run a business, and fined a very heavy penalty of 100,000 rice marks, approximately 70,000 US dollars. However, Boss appealed and he was eventually classified as only a follower, so a lesser category, which meant that he was not regarded as an active promoter of National Socialism. Boss died a few years after the war in 1948, but his business survived. As a result of the ban on Boss being in business, his son-in-law took over ownership and running of the company. In 1950, after a period supplying work uniforms, the company received its first order for men's suits, resulting in an expansion to 150 employees by the end of the year. By 1960, the company was producing ready-made suits. In 1969, the company began the international development. In 1970, the first Boss branded suits were produced, with the brand becoming a registered trademark in 1977. In 1984, the first Boss branded fragrance appeared. This helped the company gain the required growth for listing on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange the following year. In 1989, Boss launched its first licensed sunglasses as well. Later that year, the Boss family sold the company to a Japanese investor group. <music>